Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to configure L2TP RPSec VPN on Windows Server 2022. L2TP RPSec VPN is a type of virtual private network that combines the functionality of two different protocols, L2TP and IPSec. It is widely used and highly secured method for establishing a secure and encrypted connection between two networks over the internet. L2TP is a tunneling protocol that encapsulates the PPP packets and sends them over the internet. This allows the creation of a virtual private network between two endpoints. IPSec is a set of protocols that provides encryption, authentication, and integrity checking for IP packets. It is used to secure the data transmitted between the two endpoints. When a user establishes a connection to the VPN server, the client and server exchange cryptographic keys using the Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm. The data is encrypted using the shared key, ensuring that only authorized users can access the data. The encrypted data is transmitted over the internet through the L2TP tunnel. In the first step, we will install Remote Access Server role on this Windows Server 2022. Open Server Manager and click on Add Roles and Features. Click Next on Before You Begin page. In Select Installation Type page, ensure that role-based or feature-based installations are selected and then click Next. On the Selected Destination Server screen, we can choose the server or the virtual disk on which we want to install the desired role. We will install on our local server SRT22-VPN01. Click Next. Select Remote Access Server Role and click Next. On the Select Features page, just click Next because we do not require any extra features at the moment. On this page, you can read brief information about Remote Access. Click Next. Select Direct Access and VPN Role Service. If you are asked to add additional features, then click Add Features. Now select Routing Role Service and click Next. Click Next. Again click Next. On Confirm Installation Selections page, you can see the summary of the roles and the list of features that you are going to install on this server. Preview the details of roles and click on Install. The Remote Access Server Role Services will be installed in a few seconds. Wait for the installation to complete. Click on Open the Getting Started Wizard link. Click on Deploy VPN Only option. Let me maximize the window. Right click on the server and choose Configure and Enable Routing and Remote Access from the menu. On Welcome screen, click Next. Select Custom Configuration Radio button as we will manually configure the routing and remote access. Click Next to continue. Select VPN Access and NAT checkboxes and click Next. On clicking Finish button, you will see a prompt to start the routing and remote access services. Click on the Start Service button. Now that we have our VPN running, let's go ahead and configure it. Right click on our server and select Properties. Go to Security tab. Check on the box to select Allow Custom IPsec Policy for L2TP or iKey V2 connection. Type a strong and unforgettable pre-shared key of your choice and keep it safe. You can use any tool to generate a random key which you can use as a L2TP pre-shared key. Make sure to not down the PSK as we will need to share the PSK with every user who wants to connect to the VPN server. Go to IP version 4 tab and under IP version 4 address assignment, select static address pool. Click add button and we will get a pop-up to put IP address ranges. Put the starting address and ending address of the IP address range you want the users to assign to. Let me specify the IP address 
72.1 to 192.168.72.5. Click the OK button to save the address range. Finally, click OK to save the changes. You may receive a warning saying that you need to restart routing and remote access service for changes to apply. Even if you ignore it now, you can restart the service manually later on. Let's click OK to do it. Next step is to configure NAT. Expand IP version 4 and click on NAT. Right click on NAT and select New Interface. You will get into Network Address Translation Properties page. Select Ethernet Interface and click OK. Select Public Interface Connected to the Internet and also select Enable NAT on this Interface option. Next, go to Services and Ports tab. Select VPN Gateway L2TP slash IPsec running on this server checkbox. Change the private address range from 0.0.0.0 to 127.0.0.1 and click OK to save it. Finally, click OK to save the NAT interface. Right click on our server, All Task and select Restart. This will restart the routing and remote access services and all the changes we have made will be applied. Since we are not using Active Directory in this example, let's create local user account on our server. Right click on Start menu and select Computer Management. Expand Local Users and Groups and click on Users. Right click on Users and select New User. Provide a username, full name and strong password. Uncheck User must change the password next login checkbox. Click Create to create a new user account. Click on Close. Right click on Newly Created User Account and select Properties. Go to Dial In tab. Now select Allow Access option for Network Access Permissions setting. Click Apply and OK to save the properties. Now the configuration on VPN server is completed. Now access your router settings and forward the UDP ports which are required for L2TP slash IPsec VPN. Enter the admin password to access the router. Go to Advanced tab. Click on NAT Forwarding. Click on Virtual Servers. Add UDP port 500. This one handles Internet Key Exchange. Next, add UDP port 4500. It's for IPsec NAT Traversal Mode allowing VPN traffic to sneak through firewalls and network address translation devices. Add UDP port 1701. This is for L2TP, the tunneling itself where our VPN data travels. I have set the destination IP address to the VPN server's IP, which in this case is 172.18.72.50. Our L2TP slash IPsec VPN server is now ready and can accept the connections from VPN clients. To test this, let's go to our Windows 11 client computer. This is our Windows 11 client PC. Let's set up VPN connection on this client PC. Right click on Start menu and select Settings. Uh, click on Network and Internet. Then click on VPN. To create a new VPN connection, we need to click on Add VPN. Let's type a connection name, which is going to be MSFT-VPN in this example. Then we have to enter the public IP address of VPN server. Choose VPN type. In this example, it is going to be L2TP slash IPsec with pre-shared key. Now type the pre-shared key which we set up on our VPN server. After entering the pre-shared key, now click on Save. The VPN connection is created successfully. Now let's try to connect it. Let's click on Connect. This will not connect and remain stuck. Remember, we are using a VPN server which is behind the net. And this is the reason for this issue. Let me try to cancel it. I'm not able to cancel it. Let's close this. 
and let's fix the issue. If the destination L2TP VPN server is behind the net, we cannot connect to it from a Windows computer with the default settings. The problem is that the RPSAC protocol doesn't support NAT. To bypass this restriction, NAT-T is used which encapsulates IPsec packets over UDP port 4500. If the L2TP-IPsec VPN server is behind NAT, it is necessary to make a registry change on client computer to allow UDP packet encapsulation for L2TP and support NAT-T for IPsec. Open Run menu, type RAGEDIT and hit Enter key. This will open Registry Editor. Navigate to HK Local Machine, System, Current Control Set, Services and find Policy Agent. Now let's create a new DWORD 32-bit value here. Let's right-click on blank space, select New and then choose DWORD 32-bit value. Name the new value. Assume UDP encapsulation context on send rule. Now let's modify the value of it. Let's right click on it and select modify. We have to put value data to 2. Then click OK. Now we have to restart our Windows 11 computer. Let's close registry editor and let's restart our Windows 10 computer. After restart, Let's again try to connect to our VPN server. Click on network icon in the taskbar. Click on VPN. Then tap on our VPN connection, which is msft-vpn in this example. Now click on connect. This time it will ask for the username password. Let's enter the username, which is testvpn1 in this example. And let's enter user's password. After entering the username password, click OK. And this time, VPN client is successfully connected to our VPN server. Right click on Start menu and select Terminal Admin. Click on Yes. Type ping www.google.com and hit Enter key. We are getting replies back. This means internet is also working on this client computer. To monitor VPN, go back to a VPN server. Search for remote access management in the start menu and open the console. We are on a dashboard. We can see the status of the VPN. We can see all green check mark on all services. We can also view the details of connected clients on this console. As we can see, we have one active VPN client on our server. The total amount of data transferred from this VPN server can also be viewed here. Click on Remote Client Status page. We can see the name of VPN client which is TasteVPN1 in this example. We can see the ISP IP address and the protocol which is being used for this VPN connection. In this example, it is L2TP. We have successfully configured L2TP IPsec VPN on Windows Server 2022 and successfully connected a user's Windows 11 computer to the VPN server. That's all for this video on how to configure L2TP IPsec VPN on Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions and suggestions. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.